Hello and a warm welcome to my channel. In this, we are going to discuss the important articles of the Hindu and we are going to look at different aspects that can be used in any of the examinations. And also, if you are preparing particularly for UPSC, you will be able to use this information in your GS answers or your optional answers as well as in comprehension of CSAT. So I will be highlighting the some of the important points in the editorial and also I will also explain some of the important words and sentences that are hard to understand when we are starting the preparation. So I hope you will like the discussion. So this article in particular talks about India-France relationship and how it has evolved. The writer of the article, Suhaisni Haider, is a major authority in international relationships. And this article is in the context of recent Prime Minister's visit in the France. So this information can be used very much in any of your GS answers, particularly GS2 and also your optional, uh, particularly PSIR. Okay. So when we look into it, the author is saying that uh, the relationship started when we signed a strategic partnership. So French President Jack Chirac and I.K. Gujral, the Prime Minister of India, signed a strategic partnership. But initially, there was a backward in the relationship of India-France when we announced that we are testing nuclear tests in Pokhran in 1998. There was a condemnation around, from around the world and even the French condemned the test and there was all uh, there was although the strained relationship but still the French did not partner with the US led alliance to uh, put sanctions on India. So there was still some complacency and the French also did not uh, strike off the strategic partnership which it had signed with India. Okay, so this is the beginning of the relationship. Now, the philosophy be behind the relationship. What are the strongest pillars behind the relationship of India and France? So the author is saying that although uh, we have not have we did not had a very good start off, but we always had a tradition of joining each other's in national day parades. Okay, which can be quoted by example that Chirac himself was the invitee at in, uh, India's Republic Day twice in 1976, his first appearance, and then later on he again came. And Villari Giscard Estin. Nicolas Sarkozy and Francis Hollande in 2016 recently. Okay, and Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and now Prime Minister Narendra Modi are invited to Bastille Day Parade, which is the National Day Parade of France. So this shows the highlights the importance of the relationship as inviting uh, someone's premier in the uh, national event like this is a major major significance of how close the relationships are. So always there has been this close ties between both the countries. Although the purchases do overshadow the highlights of the relationship, but there is a philosophy behind both the relationship, which is more important. And uh, she's saying that there are three pillars of important, you know, features of relationship between India and France. What are those three pillars? That first is non-interference of internal affairs. Then both the countries do not want to interfere in the internal matters like India recently uh, did oversee the internal issues that were going on in France. There was a lot of protest. Okay. And French also on several occasions, which we'll see later in this editorial, had uh, overseen the internal disturbances in India because they do not believe in interfering in internal matters. So one is that. The second is strategic autonomy. Both the countries strongly believe in strategic order autonomy what is strategic autonomy it is the sense of uh, making ability to make own decision without the influence of some other country especially international matters okay so india has a strong strong opinion about strategic autonomy we don't want influence from certain any country in making our international decisions okay which may or may not harm our national interest. And that is the same princip principle shared by France. The third is about non-alignment. So there is also one word, steadfast, which means that absolute, without any uh, second thought, you can say, I have a steadfast opinion, very strong opinion about something. Okay. 
and the third is about non-alignment the non-alignment part is that we have already from uh, 1950s onward we uh, preaching the principles of uh, panchi and non-alignment is the specific principle which was adopted in the nam itself non-alignment movement which says that we will not be aligned with any ideology and we will have a separate international policy of our own so three pillars we have discussed that one is the non-interference in internal matters then strategic autonomy and non-alignment so this is a very basic and very important information about the relationship which you can use in the answers then the awkwardness in 1998 the author is saying that although there was some awkwardness in 1998 after we disclosed that we have uh, uh, attempted to do the nuclear test there was the awkwardness but it was nonetheless it was still ignored uh, jack chirac still came in 1976 even after six months before there was declaration of emergency by indra gandhi so this shows that the they really believe in non-interference of internal matters so first point okay and then in 1975 the author is saying that french had hosted the paris conference on international economic cooperation so this conference was held so that uh, to see the impact of crisis economic crisis on the developing countries okay uh, which was due to the u.s arab conflict due to yom kippur wall and now when you will uh, see the history of israel you will come across this yom kippur which was due to also known as six days war because of the arab and israel conflict and u.s involvement in that okay so uh, the author is saying ki this conference was held by france to see the economic impact because of this yom kippur war and u.s alignment with israel and in this conference france invited india to negotiate and also may be part of preparatory committee okay and it did appreciate india's participation and it also said that uh, it india has a role in bringing desperate global positions together okay so this shows that even during that time when we were going through emergency in internal matters the french overlooked that and still invited india to this global conference and appreciated india's role and position in the global affairs okay then the author is saying that space nuclear energy and defense these have always been the cornerstone of the relationship now this is important this information is very important it can be used okay in 2006 shirag returned to delhi and its stage for nuclear uh, deal cooperation so although the nuclear uh, deal was signed nuclear civil deal was, was signed by usa but paris had a major role to be played in that and which even shirak has mentioned uh, in his memoir my life in politics and it says that india has a more equally uh, india has a role to play in a more equally balanced world uh, because he had uh, the love for diversity and the uh, the commitment of india towards secularism and uh, different ideologies living together this is here okay so one till now we can understand that uh, this mr jack shirak has an important role in development of relationship of india and france and also positioning india as a major global power in the uh, international affairs okay so here from here you can take out this much information second thing is that the pillars that non-interference strategic autonomy and the uh, non-alignment these three are important aspects and then this that civil and nuclear energy defense and space have been always been the cornerstone of relationship so till here these are important information then uh, the author comes to the present visit that still the modi visited paris and uh, the foreign secretary also mentioned that even after internal disturbances in the france india still continued with the visit which reaffirms the non-interference part okay and then uh, even uh, in the present scenario the european union also uh, passed a resolution about uh, the uh, situation of minorities and also the violence happening in manipur and this happened on the same day the mr modi had uh, the prime minister landed in france and still the france ignored this and still continued with the uh, visit 
even if it is a even when it is a part of European Union. So this is not very important. Uh, you can quote one or two examples. Then Ukraine war and in the Ukraine war, uh, the world has been divided in taking positions, and we have seen the criticism from U USA and as well as Europe about India's position and abstaining from vote in the United Nations against Russia. Okay, we are aligned to Russia in some aspect and also with the Western world. So, um, the French, on the other hand, did not uh, give us that much condemnation which we had received from other countries with respect to our position in the United Nations against Russia in Ukraine-Russia war. So, uh, again, the author is saying the non-interference part and non alliance plays a major role, French role also in the conflict. As we can see that it has, France had co-authored a, a United Nations Council resolution with Mexico, which, uh, uh, which was to ensure humanitarian need to be provided. And it also seeks support of India in authoring this uh, resolution. And although this resolution when went to UN, India abstained from voting, okay? But France did not condemn this action, okay? Although it was regarding the humanitarian aid and it wanted India to support it in United Nations, India did not. And still France ignored that and still continued with the stronghold of relationship between both. Also, Mr. Macron, we had seen initially in uh, one or two months into the war, he had initiated a lot of steps to uh, bring both the leaders of Ukraine and Russia on one table. He also went to Russia and talked to uh, Mr. Putin to uh, bring some resolution to the dispute. Even after being ridiculed of his actions by other countries, he still continued with his effort. Recently, uh, the author says that he has suggested that he can come to Brisk and where Russia will also be there in South Africa and there can be more uh, resolutions on the table to end the conflict. So this shows uh, the willingness of France to bring resolutions. And also, uh, the France has uh, said that the prisoners said that Europe cannot be the vassal state of US on China's policy. So this also highlights that uh, Mr. Macron is independent in his thinking. A French policy is independent of its thinking. And uh, it also does not want to be played around by uh, other partners in the uh, global system. And although China has a strained relationship with India, but still, we do not oppose this statement by Mr. Macron. Then when it comes to st strategic partnership, the French, uh, French announced publicly it disapproves of NATO plus alliance, which means that the transatlantic alliance can be directly aligned with other nations like Japan, Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, and even India. So NATO, as we know that it is a European alliance of defense partnership and USA. Okay. On the other hand, Transatlantic Alliance is basically an economic and trade partnership of the rim of Pacific countries. And this NATO Plus is meant to increase the level of this transatlantic partnership to include defense as well. Okay, so uh, France has not been a supportive of this. And also NATO has put it on hold. And you can quote this, Mr. Jay Shankar has already rejected the plan. And he has said that NATO is not a template that applies to India. Okay, so this is very important. This information you can use. Okay, now the India France roadmap of Indo Pacific. This is very important. It was released and it also clarifies that neither side is attempting to other to its regional military coalition. The other important fact is that France was okay with the plan of Quad Plus, but it was called out because of the US UK backtrack and joined AUKUS, that is US UK Australia. US, which was to buy uh, nuclear submarines from France, later on joined Australia and abruptly uh, called off the deal, which very aggravated France. This happened last year and it was very much in news. And this uh, brought strain into relationship between France and USA as well. So USA went ahead with UK and Australia to uh, jointly manufacture and patrol the Indo-Pacific region. So this led to AUKUS. Okay. 
uh, initially the plan was cordless but then it led to occurs and there was strained relationship still willing to have joint partnership with the quad members and we can see that it is the only country which have petroleum relationship with india and according to author in the future we can see the uh, joint petroleum by france and india in the france uh, uh, territorial waters that is of reunion new caledonia and french polynesia okay and i mean nicobar islands of india so this this is very important and you can use directly all these lines and put it in your conclusion of the answer their size with p5 countries is unique in each way but uh, the feature sets a part of india french relationship is geopolitical sand valley judgment and no pressure to align their positions so they do not force each other to align their positions and they have a geopolitical understanding of each other's working so it is a unique feature in in its own sense so this is very good lines which you can use directly so this information is uh, very much relevant you can use in the answers it is a very well written topic and i hope you got some learning from our discussion and i hope you will like it thank you and please join back for more learning thank you so much